Kevin, the founder and director of Trace Kenya, is generally a friendly person whose character and vision is loved by the people of Gilgil Town. This is seen in the way he interacts with all people, including children. Oh, but you promise! Uh, let me think about it. Uh, are you sure you want? Yes. Okay. But uh, just once, all right? Okay, hop in, come, come. What Tris Kenya does looks simple and probably the same as what other young people are doing in other towns garbage collection but the of great interest is what this garbage is later turned into gifted kids visited trace kenya in november 2015 in a learning tour sponsored by via water the children had already done some pre-research on kevin's project and they were very excited to meet him and eager to find out much more my name is Kevin Moredi and I come from Gilgil. Uh, I run a company called Trace and what we do is we offer waste management services to residents of Gilgil Town. Who are your partners? Tell us something about your partners. and I am one of the co-founders at Trace Kenya Group and currently I'm the environment coordinator mm -hmm. and my role is basically to uh, coordinate cleanup activities, make sure the waste is collected, how much to be collect, is it sorted, so and, and also organizing other um, environment conservation activities. Okay, my name is Anthony Gakur, I'm also part of Trace. To remain sustainable, so I always wrap up that uh, entrepreneurship aspect. And uh, of course, it has challenges, but we're trying to work things out. And every business has its own challenges, so we're also trying to make sure that things uh, run smoothly. We also try and create employment for the young people. After the garbage is collected in the estates, it is later brought here in these dumping sites. When Kevin started his project, it was just that, collecting and dumping the garbage in this dumping site. Well, I told you my project is about converting waste materials into building products such as roofing tiles. Thank you. You want to touch it? Just touch it. But he was later to learn that this was someone's land and not an area set aside by the authority as a dumping site. Well, the goal is to have a cleaner city and to ensure that we don't have pollution of our rivers. Well, the biggest obstacle that I have encountered so far is that people don't know how to separate waste. They mix it all up. So it is very hard for us to get uh, good quality uh, raw materials such as plastics to make a better okay. okay. Right now I'm working with local youth groups who are collecting the waste for us. And in future I want to work with companies that have already recycled waste materials into building materials for a long time. And I'm also going to work with the government of course. Would you mind showing this to the other kids in the apartment? Yeah, sure. I really want your friends also to learn. So I think it's good for them to learn. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Remember that guy came from Gilgil? Ah, uh, the guy uh, who collects garbage? Yeah, yeah. It was such a great idea. What idea? Um, you, he solved the problem of plastic by um making plastic and glass together and making roofing. Kevin and his group recycles garbage into roofing tiles. Providing the market with cheap but durable tiles is his dream. Kevin believes that his idea would spread and open business opportunities in all major cities in Kenya.